campeón. Ah, big thing is contractor gets to learn another view. Uh, there's probably a lot of products that maybe he's not aware of um, that will work better for him and be quicker on an on an installation on the site. I think so you know. it gives it enables us to learn something as well, and no better place to be on a job site where they're actually doing the work to see, you know, the product in hand and, and, and have a, someone like yourself who knows more about it to actually demonstrate that. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, the more guys you can get in front of them um, that uh, are speaking the same thing that we are out there, um, it's probably going to help out as far as getting add on sales, things like that, that, uh, that maybe we weren't even getting. So. We, we see the guys out in the job site on occasion, and a lot of times, actually, more so at the lumber yard. Um, we do have guys from RP usually call us, tell us when the guys are in town, and then we know whether or not, you know, to get them out to the site or get them on. Do you, how often do you see a manufacturing rep on a job site? Very few times. Actually, almost never. For sure. We, yeah. Absolutely. It's going to help out. Most of the time, if they're on the site, it's one of those deals where they come out with a new product or they're showing us how to do something faster. And so... Yeah, I don't mind the time they come out. It's it's important. It helps us. It saves us time in the long run. Personally, yes, it, it, uh, it, it helps you helps you to go over some of the questions you've got rather than just just running into somebody because you don't have that time to to talk to them about it. They come out there and they can they can show you a little bit about what's going on with their products. See if you like them, if you don't like them, and you have some questions, and you can go over that. Just uh, the rep to come out and see what you're building, and then show us products that you guys have. You couldn't in a office situation to see how I build stuff and how you can apply your product to what I'm doing. I mean, you know, it, it, gives it, it gives it a little bit more personal. They're they're there talking to you instead of everybody walking by. And whenever whenever if I've got the attention of somebody, I can ask him that question. Hey, what what do you think about the thing? And find a find a true answer of it instead of just getting instead of getting something that they have to tell you. You know. You, you may come up with, with, with a little bit better an answer from, from somebody when he, when it's just a one-on-one -on -one situation versus three or four guys standing around you trying to figure something else out. Uh, well, for instance, one thing I can recall it would be, uh, be the hurricane straps that the old traditional time you would use. And um, you guys brought us um, the long the long bolts, you know, and uh, just screwing straight up saves um, lots of time. I mean, it's probably half the time. It, you know, well, I couldn't get the guns out of guys' hands. They, they don't want to touch nothing else anymore. It's basically, they, they said, we don't want to do this any other way. And, and, and it was faster, it looks clean, and it's it's just a good product. But, you know, you look at the bucket and, and, and you say, how can this be so fast that, that if a guy just sits down and uses it, they're going to find exactly. out. Yes. I love that gun. And once I got used to it and figured out how to use it. it was Box, what do you what do you like about through uh, it's it's speed. Speed. It's speed. So much faster, so much easier. Less steps. You know, uh, get out the big drill and drill them and then beat the giant bolt through the hole and then put on a nut and washer, tighten it up. And, yeah, so yeah, much faster. True um, locks. I, I like the way they went in. And if I had seen one in, in in the store, wouldn't have had a clue what's done with it. Um, I mean, I, after a t amount of time, I'm sure you would have found out. But it was nice to have have a little bit of a uh, guidance on on hey, this is the way it goes in there. And I I think that's going to be something that we're going to end up using through the, through the future.
Um, no, just uh, some lead time, mm -hmm. you know, so if we're not tied up, uh, other appointment wise, and then uh, if somebody wants, you know, give us a call if you want to go out to some sites that are that are operating right now that might be able to use your product, you know. However long it takes you. Yeah, to get us the good information, we don't care about that. If we're if we're if it's something to save us time, we're we're happy. Generally, no, probably it's wouldn't make any difference. Um, I mean, if you if you was to do it around lunchtime or. Or, or even a break time or something like that where a guy wasn't really working and he didn't have nothing on his mind. Um, something like that would be better off. Um, nine times out, you know, if, if a guy comes up, he's got some good information, you're going to listen to it. So it, at that point, it doesn't make any difference what time it is. If it saves me money and it can actually put me a better product out there, I'd rather uh, A lot more reps should actually come out to the job sites. Um, just not for nothing else, just to demonstrate your product. Uh, which would make it easier for me to find out about newer products. Did, did you find that because we were actually out on the job site instead of maybe me seeing you at, at the lumber yard, did you find that that was more effective? Yes. What about it made it more effective? It was more, I felt it was more personal because it was my job and it was more one-on-one -on -one than just trying to get a sales pitch in a lumber yard on how to do stuff.